So here we have in the diagram O is the center of the circle O of radius R centimeter R and XOY equals to 90 degrees. That's the angle XOY. This represents angle. Okay, that's the angle XOY equals to 90 degrees. That's XOY. Now this angle here is 90 degrees. So the question now says if the area of the shaded part is 504 centimeters, that this part is 504 centimeters square. Calculate the value of the radius. Take pi equals to 22 over 7. So we are asked to calculate the value of the radius. So what we'll do here is bring out the sector OXKY. So you have 3A. So you just draw the sector. Okay. Draw the sector. So we could just shade this part. Okay, that's it. Area of the shaded part. So we could have OXKY. So this part X O Y represents the triangle with radius radius angle 90 degrees and the shaded part represents the area of the shaded part. So you notice that the area of the triangle plus the area of the shaded part gives you the area of a sector. So we could just write the area of the sector X O Y K equals to the area of triangle you could use this to represent the triangle okay area of triangle x o y plus area of the shaded part or the shaded portion so recall that the area of the shaded part was giving us 504 centimeters square so let's make the area of the shaded part the subject of the formula so we have area of shaded part that is x k y equals to the area of the sector so you have area of sector x o y k now by the time you make this subject this area of triangle x o y will go out so you have minus area of triangle x o y now we have the area of the shaded part we have the area of shaded part as 504 now the area of the sector, the area of any sector is always theta over 360 times pi r squared. Now for the area of a triangle, if you have a triangle like this, if you have a triangle like this, and you have an angle in between like this, and you have this portion as AB, the area is not going to be half breadth times height. The area will never be half breadth times height in this case. It will be 1 over 2, the two sides, A times B, okay? times sine theta. So we'll use the same method to solve this problem. So when you come here, you have area of triangle x o y will now be 1 over 2. The two sides, which is also be a b, which is r and r, they are equal. So by the time they multiply themselves, we'll have r squared then times sine theta, which is the angle. So here we'll just substitute back our theta and the pi. In this in this equation so you have 504 equals to theta which is 90 degrees all over 360 degrees times pi which is 22 over 7 times the radius minus you could just put this in a bracket 1 over 2 then r squared the radius which is unknown presently they have sine 90 degrees so what we'll have here what we'll have here is 504 equals, by the time we break this, break this, you have 9 here 1, 9 here 4, okay? So you have 2 here 11, 2 in 4 would have 2. So we'll be left here with 11 times 1 times r squared, that's 11 r squared in the numerator, then 7 times 2 in the denominator will give us 14. So here we'll have r squared sine 90 all over 2. So for the numerator, we'll have r squared that's r squared times 1 r squared all over the denominator which is 2 sine 90 will always give us 1 let's try it with our calculator we we'll have sine 90 which equals to 1 okay so if we have sine 90 as 1 we could just bring this down to say 504 equals to 11 r squared all over 14 minus r squared all over 2. So here we'll find the LCM of 14 and 2. So we'll find the LCM of 14 and 2. That 14 and 2. So 2 in 14 gives us 7. 2 in 2 gives us 1. Then 7 in 7 also 
gives us 1. So the LCM here is 7 times 2, which is 14. So let's clean this off. So we have um, this. Okay. So what we'll do is multiply both fractions by the LCM and divide through by the LCM. So we'll have 504 equals 11 R squared all over 14 times 14 minus, could put this in a bracket, R squared all over 2 times 14. That's multiply both fractions by the LCM and divide through by the LCM. So this cancels this. 2 here 1, 2 here 7. So you have 504 equals r squared minus 7 times r squared as 7 r squared all over the LCM which is 14. So this implies that this implies that 504 equals so you know we're coming like this okay so this implies that 504 equals 11 r squared minus 7 r squared as 4 r squared all over 14. So if we go further we have 2 here 2 in 4 gives us 2, 2 in 14 gives us 7. So we'll be left with, we'll be left with 5 over 4 equals to 2 r squared all over 7. So here we could just cross multiply. So by down cross multiply, we'll have something very cool. So we'll have 5 over 4, that's 5 over 4 times 7 equals to 2 r squared times 1. So this can also be written as 2r squared equals to 504 times 7. That is 2r squared times 1 is 2r squared. So we just replaced it. So you can see 2 is stopping r squared from standing in there. So what we'll do is divide both sides by 2 to just cancel 2. So we'll have 2r squared all over 2 equals to 504 times 7 all over 2. So 2 cancels 2. Okay. Then 2 here will give us 25 2. Okay. So this implies that r squared equals to 2 5 2 times 7. Okay. 2 5 2 times 7. So here we could just multiply this together. Let's do it together. So 2 5 2 times 7 will be 2 5 2 times 7. That's 1764. So you have r squared equals to 1764. Now we have r squared. We need r, but we have r squared here. So to get r is saying square root, square root both sides. So you square root both sides. So you have r squared equals to square root of 164. Because what you do to one side, you do to the other side. So we need to cancel the square root. So this square will cancel the square root. So this implies that r equals to square root of 1764. So for the square root of 1764, we can do this together. We'll have r equals to so square root of so square root of answer. That's 1764. I give us 42. So we'll just write 42 centimeters. Since since we're working in centimeters, we'll leave our answers. It's always very useful to keep your answers in the unit you're working in. So the question says calculate the value of R. So this is the value of R. Now moving to the next question, we'll have we'll have two isosceles triangles PQR and PQS are drawn on opposite sides of a common base PQ. If PQR, that's the angle, PQR is 66 degrees and PSQ equals to 109 degrees, calculate the value of the angle RQS. Now notice this statement, two isosceles triangle, two isosceles triangles, PQR and PQS are drawn on opposite sides of a common base PQ. Now isosceles triangles are triangles in which two sides of triangles are equal. Okay, so we are told that the two isosceles triangles are drawn on opposite sides with a common base PQ. So we have PQR and PQS. So let's let's solve that. We have PQR and PQS, and they have a common base of PQ. So let's draw the diagram. So let's say call this B. So let's say this is the first isosceles triangle. Then the second one something like this okay now since the isosceles triangle let's call let's make this one like this and like this 
then this one like this meaning the two sides this one has two sides equal this one also has two sides equal so we have to use different signs because they are two different isosceles triangles so you see they have common base of pq so we just take this since this this is the common base this this line here this line here is a common base so pq is a common is a common base so can i take the first one as pqr so this is pq R. then the next one is pqs pqs okay so let's let's go to the questions again it says if pqr is 66 and psq is 109 pqr is 66 pqr is that's pqr that's the angle in between is 66 degrees and psq let's check that p sq 109 degrees okay p s q is 109 degrees that is angle here p s q the one in between represents the particular angle p s q so the angle in between p s q is 109 degrees so what are we asked to find let's check it again we are asked to find the value of r q s so let's come down again we have rqs that's the total angle here so what we'll do here since it's an isosceles triangle this angle is going to be 66 degrees because the base angle of an isosceles triangle are always equal since the two sides are equal so if this one is 109 so we can also take this as x okay and also this part as x so since we're asked to find rqs that's rqs the total angle at this junction okay rqs so what we'll do is we'll find x and add it up with 66 so we'll say let pqs pqs equals to x that's the angle pqx this small angle here because we're telling person marking our scripts that we're making now pqs x and if this place is x this place is also x because it's an isosceles triangle the base angle must be equal since the sides are always equal for an isosceles triangle so we can just write pqs equals to that's pqs that the angle here equals to qp Yes, that's QPS. The angle here, what we mean is the angle here is equal to the angle here. So you can give this a statement saying base angles of isosceles triangle. Just give the short statement like this. So since we have that the base angles are equal, we can find X easily by saying X plus X, that's this X plus this X plus 109 degrees equals 180. 180 degrees. And that's sum of angles of a triangle so you could just put the triangle like this so when we simplify this we'll have 2x plus 109 degrees equals to 180 degrees so you have 2x equals to 180 degrees minus 109 degrees so here we'll have 2x equals to 71 degrees so by the time we'll divide both sides by 2 so that we can cancel 2 off we'll have 2x all over 2 equals to 71 all over 2 so here we'll have here we'll have 2 cancel 2 2 here we'll have 35.5 by the time you solve because 2 in 70 will give you 35 so because of the one you have 35.5 so x equals to 35.5 degrees so since x equals to 35.5 degrees we now know what the value of x is and the question says we should calculate the value of rqs this is rqs that's the total angle here which is 66 plus x so rqs equals to 66 degrees plus x so uh, we have 66 degrees and x is 35.5 degrees so rqs rqs equals 101.5 degrees